Hi, today we are going to discuss about Theta SLY resource. Now, taking an example, when we need to have, when we have created multiple component, like uh, in our previous video, we have created a component called card component, and there is a requirement we wanted to add a button inside the card component. So, in one approach, we can add some button information in the card component dialog, and we can render that information in the card component by adding the html structure for the button button or there is a better approach what we can do we can we do have already a button component that is provided by the core component we can include the whole button component inside the our code card component okay remember this concept is uh, possible for uh, any customizable component or if you are uh, customizing an extended component also this concept is possible this is even used in the core component as well so you can refer to this example whenever you need to uh, reuse any of the core component or any of your customized component you wanted to reuse in a different component okay so how to use the data sly resource you can always refer to the documentation where it has been written for so there is a HTL, HTL specification documentation that is provided. I'll leave the link in the description so that you can refer to that link. In that link already uh, all the HTL or Sightly related syntaxes are already available. You can always refer to any of those examples. One of those Sightly syntax is data SLY resource. So to use this syntax, you have to use data SLY resource. This can be added to any of the HTML element or SLY tag element. You have to provide this particular attribute and as part of the value, you have to use the Sightly expression where you have to provide a node name. It can be any random name. Avoid giving the same name throughout the project. You can give any random name. It has to be just unique uh, in inside the parent. If we compare to this uh, tree structure, right? So the same name cannot be given to multiple components. So if you are adding multiple data SLY resource in this particular HTML, you cannot give the same name to uh, all the data SLY resource. So we have to you have to make sure this particular name should be unique throughout this particular HTML only at least. Okay. So here I have given a name called uh, card hyphen button. Then you have to provide the resource type attribute key and the value will be which component you wanted to reuse. So in my case, I'm not using the core component button rather than I'm using the button that is already came from the project creation approach. Uh, this one, it is by default extending to the core component. So I don't need to uh, do any changes. So I have just added the reference to my button component and that's it. With this, now I have already added these changes to my AM. And when I add the card component, right? Let me reload to be sure. And we'll delete the our card component. We'll add just to make sure we are properly doing it. Okay. So I have deleted my card component. Now I'll add my card component. Card component. So by default, my card component looks like this. And if I hover right, there is a button component appeared along with my card component. Even in the content tree, there is a card component. There is a button component. Okay. Now if I author the card component, I can give a title and a description. Uh, I do have multiple other fields, but I'm not using currently. So for now, I'm just giving uh, title and description. So here, my title description is uh, rendering and there is a button component as well. Okay, And I can give the button component information also. So let's assume this is the button component uh, and it could be dub, 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 uh, or I'll just select the US folder structure. Sorry, because I have entered WW, it is not letting me selection. Ah, we can say project US EN. Yeah. Okay. So that's it. Done. So this is my button component. Okay. 
and this way if you are using data sl by resource your any of the component you have already created in your project the same component you can reuse inside another component this approach is uh, used or it, it is it is majorly used for reusability purpose and what is the important part to or advantage to use it see because i am just using the button component it might have very less information or uh, only two to three attribute only we are providing in the cq dialog box but if you see in a broader view right it has the accessibility already built into the extended extendable component it has the options to open link in new tab uh, you can give icon id a lot of other other behavior already provided in the extended component or the core extended component button but if i wanted to achieve all of these inside my card component only to render a button it will be very time consuming and the problem will be i might not be able to test it properly also within a short period of time but if we are using data sl by resource we can reuse our already tested component into our card component in this way we can save a lot of time and we can reuse the already tested component which have very less regression uh, effort okay so this is uh, this is the example how to use data sl by resource syntax and how to uh, reuse any of the existing component that is already prepared now there is one uh, issue with this is what we see when i added the button component inside card component the button component is actually appearing outside in my next video i'm going to tell how this button component we can put it little inside and it should be look something like how our card component is appearing inside the container right the indentation in the content tree should be proper so yes don't forget to watch the next video to fix this thank you